So in a few days, Rockstar Games is releasing the first GTA 6 trailer. This of course has caused a lot of hype in the community, so in this video, I'll be going over 6 things we could end up seeing in trailer 1. And number 6, we're starting this off with the water. And this is because the water physics are apparently going to be very advanced this time around. Rockstar could easily show off a little scenery with some crashing waves, or show some surfers riding gnarly waves, since surfing is rumored to be featured in the game. Swimming being showcased is also likely, since it would be the most convenient way of traversing underwater. In fact, many sea creatures could be in those waters, including sharks. And Rockstar doesn't shy away from these kinds of predators either. Through GTA Online DLC, they added a Loch Ness monster that can be seen from a distance. So really, the sky is the limit. And what better way to traverse these waters than boats? Boats have been a controllable vehicle in the games since the third installment, so it's not very far-fetched to assume that they will make their return. These bring back memories of the little submarines GTA 5 had that allowed players to explore the underwater world of that game. Those could also make a comeback. And finally, let's zone in on that underwater world. The waters of GTA 5 involve great shipwrecks, a variety of plane wrecks across the entirety of the map, and a mysterious sunken UFO. The waters of GTA 6 are bound to hold many interesting secrets, and that trailer has the potential to tease this. A game all about crime wouldn't be nearly as fun without the police after you. Here, they could be shown off in all their glory. Their behavior and any new mechanics involved with them can be teased. We can see how they act as NPCs walking around the world. Will I get treated differently for the color of my skin instead of the content of my character? This new installment has the opportunity to portray the police in a more humanizing fashion, compared to them simply being waves of a brainless army. Speaking of armies, will the 6 star wanted level return? Games of the past such as San Andreas had a 6 star and you'd be such a threat that the military would come after you. This could make crazy crime sprees in GTA 6 that much more interesting. Or, on the other side of things, it would also be fun to see how fragile it is to get to that 1 star wanted level this time around. If I start to follow an NPC home, will they become afraid and call the police? What if I just walk around the streets with a big gun? Or if I'm the worst driver in town? A world without consequences would get boring quickly, so the police system deserves a nice showcase. At number 4, we're talking about guns and weapons. It'd be hard to rob a bank without them. How they look graphically and the features involved with them can all be showcased. Call of Duty for the past few years has had weapon inspecting as a feature. If GTA follows in their footsteps, that could be a pretty spectacular and aesthetically pleasing addition. Gun attachments could also be returning in the form of suppressors or flashlights that could aid in combat. It may also be revealed if any guns are coming back from previous Grand Theft Auto installments and what new additions there will be. They better bring back the up and atomizer, and if destructive ones such as the railgun, firework launcher, or RPG ever return, they can cause serious mayhem. On a totally different side of the arsenal, 5 had a great variety of melee weapons, so 6 could end up being the same way. These tools of destruction have always been an important aspect of the franchise, seeing how things operate in the new installment will be refreshing. Next up, we could see a hint of that story and what it's going to look like. This could be done through narration, and it would make sense looking back at how Rockstar did their past reveal trailers. Narration may be used to share the voices of the game's protagonists to the audience for the very first time and give us an idea of their motivations and who they are. Alternatively, clips from the first few minutes of the campaign can be used as well to see where it begins. Alongside this, significant story locations could be shown, potentially places these protagonists end up robbing. And finally, a nice showcase of what these playable characters will look like. Many of us are aware of the leak that suggested the game involves a couple that parallels Bonnie and Clyde. This could be the trailer that confirms or denies this. Interiors are a recurring part of the series, and the trailer could reveal some. This could be done through showing off the inside of homes or other buildings significant to the story, or fun fast food restaurants can be included. San Andreas alone had multiple cluckin' bells, burger shots, and pizza places. GTA 4 allowed you to take women on dates and go bowling with them. The game had two bowling alleys you could go to that were under the Memory Lanes chain. A bowling alley franchise with a... Goofy logo, to say the least. 
You were also able to take friends out to eat at Mr. Fuchs Rice Box, another location that hasn't returned since. This game even had a naughty shop that had naughty stuff, man. It was wacky. The last installment in GTA 5 had none of this, but it did have movie theaters you were actually able to watch films in. Rockstar got way better and more abundant with their interiors in Red Dead 2, so one can only assume they'll be even greater in this next project and give us more vanilla unicorns. Finally at number one, that trailer should showcase the auto of Grand Theft Auto. The vehicles. I mentioned boats already, but it can confirm a variety of vehicles that will end up being present. Bikes and trucks and sports cars. Maybe some will parody the modern electric cars of the real world. The trailer could also confirm if wackier cars will be included in the experience. GTA 5 had the Vigilante, which was basically the Batmobile that could speed boost and fire missiles. There was also a parody of James Bond's car that was capable of shooting bullets and dropping spikes. And there's the Scramjet, heavily inspired by the lead car of the Speed Racer franchise, which can boost, jump, and shoot missiles. Regardless, all these vehicles would be a great way to show off the game's ray tracing and other graphical capabilities. Of course, if the trailer doesn't end up including much of this at all, more information will be revealed by the time the game drops. A lot of signs point towards the game being great, with Rockstar having all the money in the world and clearly taking the time to craft their vision. They have a history of making great stories with memorable characters. The kinds of stories that include iconic lines and moments. The kinds of stories that set new bars for the gaming industry. And the kinds of stories that are told uniquely through the medium of video games. Grand Theft Auto 6 will likely be used as a platform through an online component, with content being added to it for years to come, and a place for friends and loved ones to make memories on. But anyways, that's all for this video. Thank you for watching, and subscribe for Loch Ness Monsters.